We were so excited. We were married about six years, and we had planned to have a baby, and we found out that we were pregnant. Chris was ecstatic. You know, first child, I think you go through that, which a lot of people do, where it, it's uh, taking forever, and then all of a sudden it's here. Um, pregnancy was wonderful. You know, I felt great the whole time. We were all so excited. And I remember even the day before my appointment, Chris said, hurry up, Lisa, I'm ready for her to be here. You know, you're, it's starting to become real, right? You, you start packing your go bag and, you know, every night, oh, it's just gonna be the night. I was 39 weeks pregnant, one week from the due date. Went in, you know, they did the usual, took my weight. Then they went to check for the heartbeat. The doctor said, you know, Lisa, I can't hear anything, but don't be alarmed, you know, because a lot of times, you know, you're very far along, so there's not much room. So sometimes it's hard to find the heartbeat. Um, and so, you know, I just, I mean, it seemed like forever. But then I could kind of tell from the doctor's face that, you know, there's a little bit of panic. Eventually my heart started beating very fast. And, you know, I thought at first when I heard that heartbeat, I thought it was the baby. So a little bit of hope, but then we realized that there was no heartbeat. So, I mean, it, you know, I was laying there and just wondering like, is this real? Like it, it can't be like, what is going on? Just almost out of body, like what happened? Just total shock. You had all these expectations and, you know, all these hopes and dreams for, for your family, you know, and for this baby. And then they're just shattered like that in an instant. You know, you, you have a mix of dealing with emotions and dealing with what was at hand and also uh, having to deal with the next steps because the next few days we're gonna bring a lot of tough um, decisions and tough moments from the delivery to a funeral um, and everything else that came with it. I'm not sure if maybe it really kicks in until a week, week or so after. You know, people go on with their lives and we're left with this kind of empty void, an empty nursery, um, and what feels like kind of empty home, empty hearts. Like I remember looking out the window and thinking the rest of the world is moving forward and I'm just stuck. I found myself, oddly enough, I mean, I question why, and you never, you know, even to this day, I don't know the exact reason why, but I never felt really angry at God. Like I felt like, thank goodness that I have faith and that I know one day that I'll be reunited with Kennedy. So that's what helped me get, get through it. And I know a huge encouragement for me was just hearing from others that said, hey, it's gonna be rough, you know, but, but you will get through it. You know, you never get over it, but you will get through it. I don't know if there's a right answer, a right way to help other people through it, other than to hopefully share your story. No story is the same. They're all different. They, they have their own uniqueness, but um, I think their ability to share their stories and just throw it out there and open dialogue if people want it, or at the very least to know that someone's aware of their situation, thinking about them and praying for them. When people know your journey and know you've been through something, then you know they'll come to you. That's how Faithfully Bold Movement started. What I went through, there are no words that'll make it all better, but the care package, we just want people to feel loved and supported when they open it and to know, hey, I have been there. You know, I am praying for you. You know, even in that moment of opening it, if, if they can just feel a little joy. Most of the people that we send packages to, we don't know. But you know, the packages we send, we pray for the person. Um, we send them a journal, a candle, fun socks, um, soaps, lotions, you know, just stuff. And we, we're very intentional about it. Like we want them to feel loved when they open it. God allowed us to go through this situation. Um, and I think there's an opportunity there that he's given and opened a door and, um, you know, we do our best to be faithful and, and uh, with the opportunities that he gives us.